Zimbro cells of a higher ish value than me, because her muscles makes the breeding material for females, and it's just so unfair. Why do they get all the females? Oh, wait, are we supposed to be getting girls? I don't know, I just got here. Hello, all of you lovely individuals, and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into the unfortunately T virus levels petri dishes of r slash incel tier. So get your hazmat suits, get your helmets on, keep your hands and feet inside the dingus at all times, and the let go. Also, check the description box, I got links to shit. Guys online, women only like a six foot tall ale with abbabs that make loads of money. Meanwhile, the million of average-looking, kind, working, married-class man? I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm gonna lay this- I know that opinions are very dangerous on the internet, but this is my own personal opinion. We need Keanu Reeves in more places where Keanu Reeves is not being expected. He is like the wholesome Spanish Inquisition, and you know the rules. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Are we the- Baddies. Only thing going through my mind right now is the word baddies being a slang term and not meaning anything else uh, and at the same time trying to be British because I, I don't know, the dude's face has me thinking such. Be me, buddy of mine is in a horrible mood, says he asked out a girl and she shot him down. Apparently, some dude in the class asked her out right after, and she said yes. I'm trying to cheer my body up. He goes on a rant about how girls will always choose the bad at bullies over good people. He says that he hopes that he does bad things to her so she can see how wrong she was. And he calls the guy who asked her out a worthless a POS scumbag. The piques my interest, so I do a little snooping for the guy online. He's part of our school's football team. He's part of UNICEF. He's tagged in a post made by a local soup kitchen, and it turns out he volunteers there two times a month. Think about my friend. It doesn't work out. Only hobbies are video games and dookie posting. No job. Unironically once got in trouble for trying to steal from a homeless man. Guys, maybe normies are all right. Wait, hold up. This is a 4chan post that actually had reasonable thought. That is not something I was expecting to wake up today, but all right. Anybody that thinks that the reason somebody don't want to date you is because of this, that, or the other, when very much it's not, and the reason that they may pick somebody else is because of something you're not seeing, it just makes you look like more of the idiot than you already are acting like. I'm really hoping after doing that snooping and knowing about the soup kitchen stuff that he was able to call his homie out on his douchebaggery and all that stuff because you complain it about somebody thinking that they do bad things to somebody else meanwhile they actually do wholesome things for the community and you're the one just doing all the bad stuff it's just don't call your homie out hi uh, let me answer here to your question because i was banned from incel exit wake up women are nothing but the incarnation of a brutal cynical natural selection process incarnated on earth they are very 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 selective and they prove no empathy for men also if you are openly bisexual, you are discarded automatically. Try to up your attractiveness by gaining muscles, masculinity, and confidence, and lie about being bisexual. You are straight from today on. Also, don't listen to any piece of advice given by women. They range from hostile to pure misleading. Yeah, you know, because God forbid women might actually know a thing or two about what women are interested in. Nope, that couldn't be the case. Some women are trashing you for having asked the question. Don't listen to any suggestions given by any women. Yeah, I don't think so. The advices they gave me were good, and even if they can come up as aggressive, it is necessary for me to grow up and be a better man. Yeah, sometimes honesty is not nice, but honesty is very much still the best policy, even if it isn't all delivered with a nice little bow on 
top or anything. Sometimes it is a reality check. And, uh, holy Jesus, a lot of people need those. Reach fuel. Sister's pregnant. My five foot two fed sister, who would have been a true cell if she was born a man, is now pregnant with her five foot five ethnic husband's kids, who she finally settled with after going around and they just found out it is a boy. I am already mourning for him because I know it will never begin for him. Which, each generation, the dating pool gets even smaller and smaller for men. And considering he will be death sick and uh, no taller than five foot five, it is honestly better. And if he just gets deleted at this point, I don't know what it is with subhumans who keep insisting on keeping alive their worthless bloodline. They are only bringing more suffering to this evil world. And I know that in some point in his life, the kid will turn out to be like one of us and probably end up on this forum wishing he was never born and resenting his parents for having him. Whenever people say weird stuff about masculinity, I think about Fred Rogers, LeVar Burton, Jim Henson, and Bob Ross. Universally beloved men who gave us so much by demonstrating empathy, charity, beauty, education, art, and patience. Masculinity shouldn't be a cage that traps you. Yeah, just let people enjoy stuff because they like doing it. And a lot of times, everybody just needs that positive role model. I think when it comes to the type of genre of person that is on the screen here, uh, he's not on here, but my favorite was Steve Irwin. Yeah, why don't you just give him a chance? I don't know, because I'm not physically or mentally attracted to him, but, uh, and, but he likes you, or, but he's really nice, isn't going to change the fact that I'm not interested. Dang, I don't think women know how much that really hurts. I don't understand this. You don't know how much that hurts stuff. Do men not remember rejecting women? Have they forgotten that they hold us to impossibly high standards of behavior and beauty? That our personality alone is not enough for most men? Us being a nice person isn't what men list as their prime quality in a woman. How about those that rather stay in a bad relationship with a deadbeat than whine to their guy friends about how there is no guys left? The Freud self, who worked 20 hours a week, married an obedient 17 year old wife, paid a flat tax to his local lord equal to a fraction of the value of his land, owned his own land, high-quality handcrafted goods, indisputable head of his household, lived in racially homogeneous high-trust society, and died a peaceful bedside, his loving family at the ripe age of 60. Nah, dude, that's medieval times. That number's 22. Versus the modern wage clock works a 40 hours a week if lucky he marries an ungrateful 30-year-old gold-digging hag. Lucky to keep half of his income. Doesn't own land, rents apartments, a low-quality, mass-produced consumer goods, head of his household and the wife permitting, lives in a multicultural, low-trust society, lives to an unnaturally long 75, burdened his children with enormous health care fees they, they, they will never be able to pay off. But... <laughs> Look, if you dummies are gonna try to cherry pick a period in time to go back to mentally, could you at least, like, narrow down one? Sometimes the 1950s, sometimes the 1940s, sometimes the 1920s, and sometimes it's 1602. But I know for a fact the main common denominator between all of them is apparently you guys like ones with segregation still being in play. The TikTok trend of bone smash involves hitting yourself in the face with a hammer to cause fractures that heal and give you a better jawline. 
This is dumb, unsafe, and there is no evidence that this even works. Please do not hit yourself in the face with a hammer. Ah, oh, great, yeah, no, this is absolutely fantastic. The current dumbass TikTok trend. Uh, yeah, here's the thing, if you're gonna do this, could you at least come up with original? SpongeBob's already done that. Inside every woman, there is a mustache man. What the shit? Girls unconsciously dehumanize the men they can't regard as potential partners. They're eugenics machines, but they don't know it and they deny it when confronted with the statistical evidence. Every western country is pretty much an extermination camp for non-sheds. The biggest genocide in history is going on right now and no one is talking about it. Yeah, uh, yep, yep, you, you've found out the secrets of the mustache man. When he disappeared, he did not die. He transmuted himself to be all of women's genetics. This right here is the kind of stupid that everybody sees, and then they kind of wonder if you slap him hard enough, it might be able to do something different. There should be a version of the Purge Week where you can do this to any female you desire. No, the shit, there shouldn't. If she is not married or under 18, it would be open season on this, that, and the other. Also, if a female was caught having that outside of marriage, the punishment would be permanent as- I, I don't know if I can say that either because YouTube's policy on that word or history and shit. Status. Basically, no protection for the rest of her life. This would solve many problems problems, preventing the heck and pressure of inseldom from building up, and encouraging females to be chased and seek a worthy husband who is her looks match instead of freaking chance. It would be a perfect world. M25, I'm literally frustrated and angry. I don't know why, but I'm so gosh darn pissed. After going on the SW subreddit, so many women talking about how they are having so much fun doing that to random guys and making tons of money. It literally makes me want to break my windows and throw stuff. Why are they so darn happy effing around doing that to random guys for cash? They are all proud as f about it too. Some of them even brag about having high standards and being a higher value and I, I don't know I, why do women always win no matter what guys like me just freaking lose I can't get laid especially not for free I hate my job and I hate my life anyways I recently tried talking to this person and got rejected it doesn't get worse than that I I'm going to go do that now. I can't stand it. TLDR, I'm upset that workers are enjoying doing that to random dudes and making money. Then why don't you try doing it? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, there is that whole thing about if you have a job that you enjoy doing, you never work a day in your life. I feel like that kind of still applies here. Three things to take into consideration. One, the maximum number of wives a man may acquire could vary according to the ratio of men and women. Two, the chance hypergamy you imply would die off as the father would decide who gets his girl. Three, nothing is stopping us from building a haven island for millions of Jewish that girls to be born and trained and thus sent to mainland preventing the issue of inseldom. Oh yeah, way to go, speedrun taking the uh, human out of humanity. However, even ignoring all of that, I'd not begin some that soy cell revolution just because no father picked me as a husband to his daughter. I'd try to improve myself, perhaps get a friend who would let me marry his daughter eventually. You could have said improve yourself, but then you said the rest so very much I am not going to like you. Then again, if you happen to type something and I see it on the subreddit with a lot of people agreeing that it is not so, I'm probably not going to like you from that point. Posting that on IT is going to do nothing but make that person more involved in Intel spaces. If you ID 
losers don't want people to be incels. Why do you do stuff like this? What, posting your screenshots to the subreddit? Ho oh, dang. Mocking someone for wanting to change? Mm, so you don't want incels to change? What the freak do you incel tier users want? For y'all to have common sense and moral understanding of how the world works and all that such and the fact that it's not the fact that you're a little short as to why you are a petri dish of a human being. But God forbid, y'all ain't gonna ever understand that. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not responsible for their thoughts or actions. Have a great day. Please remember to go F yourself. Why so mean? I didn't do anything. Right. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye